So beginners often find it intimidating and difficult to learn their first full song. It can be really time consuming and difficult to figure out how to get all the parts and have it make everything work together. And then when you see pro guitarists that have hundreds of songs under their belt fully memorized, it's kind of like, well, how do they do that? How do they actually get to that point? And I'll tell you, it's really difficult without a process that you can use repeatedly to learn all your new songs. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do in this video. I'm gonna give you a process that you can use anytime you wanna learn a new song so that you can learn songs faster. It'll help you figure out what songs are at your skill level a lot better and how you can learn a bunch of songs at once so that you get a bunch under your belt quicker and you have more fun doing it. So that's exactly what we're gonna go through in this video today. So the first tip number one is to learn it section by section. A full song can take days, weeks, or sometimes even months to master. So if you break it down into much more manageable chunks, then it's more motivating because you can actually master one section and then move on, as opposed to having an entire song that's just kind of mediocre. And if you see it in a lot of my tutorials, I'll break it down section by section so that you can go through them one at a time and then learn it over the course of multiple days or multiple weeks. If you're in the very beginning of guitar, you might even just want to pick a single riff from a song that you want to learn and just work on that. Because sometimes just working on the coolest part of a song and just being able to play that is more motivating and more interesting than trying to play an entire thing that may be just a little bit too much to tackle at the start. And then you can always come back later and take it section by section, and then eventually, once you've learned all the sections on their own, then you can bring them together and you've got a full song. So the big point of this is to start with one section and then practice that one until you're confident with that section before moving on, because otherwise you have multiple things that you can't really play, instead of one thing that you can play well, and then you move on to the next part, and then you add to the two together and keep on building. You're also often going to find that the transition from one section to the another can be the biggest part that's going to trip you up. So if you have both of the sections worked out and mastered pretty well on their own, then it makes that process of smoothing them and putting them together a lot easier. Okay, so tip number two is that learning multiple songs at once is okay. I typically find that it's better to learn a song by getting one section pretty good before moving on to the next section. But if you spend your entire practice session on just one section of the song, then sometimes it can get kind of boring. So usually what I'll do when I'm playing is I'll pick two to three songs that I want to learn kind of at the same time, but then I'll only each day work on one section of each song. I'll work on the first section of song one, and then I'll move on to the first section of song two. And once I've got those down, then I move to the next section of the song just to keep things fresh and interesting so I'm not spending an hour practicing the same single strumming pattern and uh, getting bored with my playing because we never want to get bored because guitar should be fun. And I basically just got a continuous cycle of two to three songs that I'm learning at a time. So you just work on them as you get them good and you're ready to move on to another one. Then you add that in and you just have a rotating cycle of songs. All right, so moving on, tip number three is memorize first, play second. You always want to start by memorizing as quickly as possible what order the chords are in, what your strumming is, what any riffs you're playing or anything. You want to memorize it as quickly as you can so that you're not always referring back to your page or your screen. You just know it and you can play it. So you want to start really slowly and work it out and work out the order until you have it fully memorized and you can play it at a really slow speed but you know it. And if you know it, then you're going to be able to learn it a lot faster because you don't always need to be glued to your screen to actually play it. You can pick up your guitar for a minute and just play whatever you're working on. The second thing that memorization is really going to help with is being able to play it fluidly in time on rhythm because you won't have to stop and think, oh, hmm, what, uh, what chord am I moving to next? Which I'm sure if you've played or tried two or three songs by this point, you know that uh, that happens. So the biggest thing is once you memorize it, then you can just play it fluidly without thinking it. And once you can do that, once it's memorized and you can play it well at a slow speed, then you can ramp up the speed and it'll be a lot easier to make it faster because you already know what you're doing and your fingers already know where to move. So one thing that you might find useful is even before playing it, just try and kind of think in your head, okay, you know, what are, what are the chords that I'm playing? What order do they go in? What's the strumming pattern kind of like? And just kind of think about it and get a good idea of what you're playing potentially even before you try playing it. Sometimes that's easier than just jumping in and trying to play it and uses, using the tabs with the music as a crutch. Just think about it and be like, okay, what am I actually playing? Pause for mid-video wardrobe change. Uh, yesterday we were filming this and we ran out of time 
and today I forgot what shirt I was wearing yesterday, so here we go. Moving on, another good way to help memorize stuff is to kind of hum the song in your head a few times as you're kind of figuring out your chord changes and working along with that. So you've got a good idea of what you're doing and when you're doing it, so that when you actually go to play it, you, you know what you're playing a lot better, so you don't have to think about it as much, and you can just play. And moving on, tip number four is know when to drop songs. Obviously, there are some songs when you start a tutorial that you'll know within the first few seconds they're just going to be way too hard, and yeah, move on, find a different one. But I would encourage you to try things that seem challenging, because even if you can't necessarily learn the song, there might be a bunch of different cool techniques that you can learn and play along, and that'll just show you something new that you didn't know on guitar. Don't be afraid to try new things. When you start a new song, just try it out for a few days. If you've been through a few days and you're you're not really making any progress, that maybe that's one you want to shelf for now. But if you have started to make some progress on a section of a song that you thought was too difficult, then it might be worth keeping with that one and just working on it for a while because that's how you elevate your skills and do things that you couldn't do before is by working on stuff that was too challenging to do before. Every style of guitar has different techniques that are specific to that and your fingers are just going to naturally work better for certain techniques than others. I know for me personally, I've never liked over the thumb chords, just my, my thumb doesn't bend that way very nicely. so. That's one thing that I haven't been able to do, but there are lots of other styles of riffs that I can do really well, and certain things are going to just naturally work for you better. So when you start a new song, just try it out for three days, and then make your judgment at the end of that three days, not within the first few seconds. If you've made some progress and you know things are feeling good and they're, they're better than they were a few days ago, then hey, may as well continue playing it. What I'm learning, I usually try and learn about three songs at once, and two of them are easy ones for quick wins and good motivation, and then one of them is a more challenging one that's going to kind of push my limits and get me to do things that I couldn't do before. By the time I've done all three, I've improved my skills as a guitarist with the harder song, and I've mastered two easier ones, which just feels good, and then I've got two great songs that I can play. Okay, so that's the four tips to help you learn any song. So just as a summary, here's what we went through in this video. First is learn songs section by section. It's really tough to learn an entire song all at once, but if you break it down into the specific sections and work on just one at a time and getting it to sound really good before moving on, then it's going to make it a lot easier to bring the whole thing together once you've learned each part individually. Second was learning multiple songs at once. As you're learning them section at a time, it's a lot more interesting and a lot more fun if you've got several songs that you're working on at the same time, so you can focus on one section from each song in each practice session, and it's just going to be a lot more fun to play multiple songs at once, and you'll feel like you're making more progress. Third tip is you want to try and memorize songs as quickly as you can before trying to make them good. It's going to make it way easier to start playing a song well if you're not constantly thinking of what the next note is that you're trying to play. So memorize it as early on as possible, and then it's going to make it a lot easier to play the song well, and you're a lot more likely to remember the song long term if you've got it memorized. This will really help you become one of those players who just has a whole ton of songs under the belt that they can just pick up and play at any time. And finally, know when to drop songs. I recommend trying a new song out for three days before deciding whether you're going to keep going with it or just move on to a new one. If you haven't really made any progress after three days, then just drop it and come back to it later. But if you are getting some progress and things are looking a lot smoother, then keep going with it because you never know what you can do. And that's what I've got to say for this video. Obviously, in a course, I can cover all of this in a lot more detail in a step-by-step -step practice plan than I can in just a 5-10 to 10 minute YouTube video, but I tried to cover as much stuff in this video as possible. If you are interested in a step-by-step -step course, you can check out my course in the link in the description below this video. Please hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video, and say hi in the comments below. Let me know what you thought about it or any questions you've got. And make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't already to get all my videos right as I post them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.